Okay, this is what we know for sure, is that on the uh, AP Cal AB exams, you're definitely going to see some question about prove that something is a tangent line or find the line tangent to a curve. Uh, and one of the possibilities is that you're not going to see the curve, that you're going to be given this curve, and that you're going to be told, asked to prove this, to show that this is true. So consider the closed curve in the xy plane given by this x squared plus 2x plus, I'm sorry, y to the fourth plus 4y equal, is equal to 5. Now look, what I would do first is, just to be honest with you, I would go, go back and I would put this right into my calculator um, and implicitly solve this, right? We know this is going to be implicit differentiation, right? So I would just test that, just to be clear about it, just to make sure that you're on the right, on the right track here. Um, and then I guess when I started my proof, I would just do this. And I'm, if I was teaching you this in class, I would rewrite this. But because this is an exam problem, I, I swear I would just write this on the exam like this. So save yourself a step, yeah? And then this looks like distribution. It's not. I'm just saying I'm going to take the derivative of this, 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 and this. So you're going to, be, you're going to need to rewrite this dd, ddx of x squared plus ddx of 2x plus the derivative with respect to x of y to the fourth, right? Plus ddx of 4y is equal to, right? Make sure you show both sides, ddx of 5. This is you showing what you're doing here. And then start taking that derivative, right? So we can do this. We can take the derivative of this. We know the derivative of this is just 2x, isn't it? The derivative of this is 2, right? This gets a little bit gamier, right? We're going to use the power rule here, right? So to the fourth power. So we're going to take the derivative of the outside part, which is 4y to the third, times the derivative of the inside. And what's the derivative of y? The derivative of y is, well, dy dx, isn't it? And then the same thing here. Right? The, the derivative of the outside part here would just be 4, wouldn't it? Then take the derivative of the inside part. I'm saying the inside part is this. So 4 dy dx. And of course, we know that the derivative of this is 0, isn't it? Okay. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of algebra, right? So this is just some algebra. I would not be writing this part on my exam, but this is all I'm going to do. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this whole piece over to this side. So just really quickly, I, I guess you know we're far enough ahead in our math that you can see how I'm going to move this over. So I'm going to get this 4y cubed plus 4, I'm going to fill that in in just a second, is equal to negative 2x minus 2. Can you see that? And what I wanted to, the reason I'm doing this in a different color right here is because I want to show you what I'm doing here, is this should be this dy dx. Is this one dy dx? And this is dy dx here, right? This dy dx. I'm sorry, this dy dx, so dy dx, right? Now, factor out that dy dx. I'm going to factor this out. So factor out dy dx, right? So factor out dy dx, and we'll get dy dx times 4y cubed plus 4 is equal to this negative 2x minus 2, right? Now I'm going to divide both sides by this, right? Right, because look, remember, you guys, this is what we're, going to, we're getting to this, right? We have to prove this mess right here. So that's what I'm trying to get to here. So I'm going to keep working here. I'm going to say, I'm going to divide both sides by this. So we get dy dx is equal to, right, negative 2x minus 2 all over this thing, right? 4y cubed plus 4, right? Okay, I'm going to have to simplify this a little bit because they want to see it in the form that we had it in, right? So we're going to simplify. And when we simplify this, we're going to take out this, right? Yields to us dy dx is equal to negative 2x plus 1. You see I factored out the, the negative 2 here. Over, we can factor out a 4 here, can, can't we? So 4 y cubed plus 1, right? We good? Okay. And from here, we know that...
right? I'm kind of in a hurry because I want to get done and move on to the next part of the question. I think that you, know, you have 45 minutes to do six questions on the exam, so I guess I shouldn't be freaking you or me out. Um, this obviously goes to 1, negative 1 half, doesn't it? So dy dx is equal to the opposite of x plus 1 over y cubed plus 1. Oops, and there's this, remember this simplified to a 2, didn't it? So here's our solution. Right, remember we were trying to prove this, and this is proved through here, right? Now maybe you're sitting there thinking, well, Charlie, if I can use my, if I can use my calculator, why should I show all this? Um, because they're asking you to show it. They're asking you to prove it. When they say show it, they mean prove it. So you need these steps. Um, you should be able to fit your work in the space provided, so that's kind of a key, uh, kind of a gauge to how much room should it take. So it says here, write an equation for the line tangent to the curve, right? So this would be a second part of this that we can do with just the information that we have right now. Uh, and the way that I would do this is, remember we have, we're taking, we're, we're differentiating implicitly. So we want, we need the slope not at the value of x. We don't want the slope at a point, and it's at the point, the slope, so the slope at the point negative 2, 1 is equal to, so I'm going to take this thing right here. And we have negative 2, can't we, plus 1, that's the x value. I'm putting the x value, here's that x value right here, right? All over 2 times, right, we have y is 1, so we have 1 cubed, so 1 cubed plus 1, yeah? That's good. Um, and then when we simplify this out, look, we'll multiply this in. Right, we multiply this into here, so I'll make this plus and this minus, won't it? So we have 2 minus 1, which is 1. And then we have 1 cubed is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4 is the slope. Right? We're almost done. And I want you to kind of make a point of this. Some people, they go on and they do so much algebra because, well, I'm an algebra teacher, so I know I, you get beat up into doing so much work. They want an equation, right? So let's just give them an equation. Let's give them the equation. Let's just use point slope form. Y minus y sub 1, right, is equal to m times x minus x sub 1 here. And then we'll just do direct substitution here, right? So a direct substitution. You don't need to write that out. But and just so you know, we did direct substitution up here also. So we did our work, and we found out that we have y. Um, the y value is 1, so minus 1 is equal to, we know the slope was 1 fourth, wasn't it? Right, because we have slope is 1 fourth. And remember that this m is slope, right? So times x minus, right, that's formulaic, right? Minus, but the x value was negative 2, right? Negative 2, if you don't mind. So if you see this, negative times a negative is a positive, isn't it? So, plus 2. Okay? Now, circle my answer. And this is the work that I would show. Um, let me say this to you now, that when you're looking at free response questions, um, they're usually out of like 9 points, so you have to kind of figure that out. There was no unit of measurement here, and therefore I didn't need to stick to one. But if there was a unit of measurement, you would have to use a unit of measurement. And you're like, why the hell are you telling me this now? Because I'm going to tell you this every time you and I talk, because... There are little tiny points that you pick up here and there on that exam. And the accumulation of all those little points adds up to a 5 on the exam or a 4 on the exam. Leaving off just those little points that are really easy to pick up will create a tragedy for you. And, and I'm really trying to help you get to that better place. So that's my, uh, that's my video on this. If it, was, if it was good or helpful, please let me know. And I appreciate it if you subscribe. Ciao.